Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Kerry and today we will talk about this here fountain pen, the Pilot Explorer. <laughs> uh, what's up everybody? I'm not going to continue to talk like that, don't worry. Uh, this is the Pilot Explorer from <laughs> Pilot. If you did not get that already, uh, this is sort of a cheaper version ish cheaper ish version of the pilot metropolitan so it has the same nib as their entry level pens just like this which is also an entry level pen um so i thought it would be interesting to review it because i like the metropolitan um and i know it is you know widely known and accepted as a starter fountain pen so i was curious to see if this would too um, and spoiler, I would say yes. So what is this? This is the Pilot Explorer. Uh, I got this in a medium nib, um, in Canadian dollars. You can find this on Amazon currently, uh, for about 30 bucks. Uh, and most retailers in Canada will sell it for around 35 to 38 that I've seen. Um, but of course you can find it cheaper. Americans, uh, it will also be much cheaper than that. Um, I didn't see, uh, any retailers that had it, um, that was like not sold out. Um, but I've seen it anywhere between 20 to $25 for you guys. So this pen is pretty simple. Goodness. Um, nothing too fancy. No finials really. It's just kind of black plastic. Um, same with the clip, uh, which is actually pretty nice and sturdy. I like that uh, a lot. Um, it has two sort of dots on the cap. I'm not sure what functionality that is, if anything, um, but it's just black plastic. Uh, logo on the cap. This is sort of a granity gray finish. Uh, there are many, many, many colors that you can choose from. Uh, it's pretty much a complete barrel, ever so slight taper down to the end, uh, but nothing too fancy. Uh, some rings down here in the cap, uh, obviously the logo, but really that's about it. It's nice and simple. It is a snap cap, so it just pulls. Uh, and then it should look fairly familiar to you guys because this is the same uh, grip section, same nib as the Pilot Metropolitan. There's a teeny tiny little step here, um, but it's pretty far back uh, and it's pretty long, um, which is nice because then it fits in your hand without needing to post. It's pretty darn light uh, because it's all plastic. It does post and it does post fairly securely. You do have to kind of uh, pull on it pretty tight. Uh, it does not back weight it because it is so light, um, but it does make it pretty long, um, which I don't enjoy myself, but some people will. The grip section is transparent. It's kind of a smoky black. Um, got the plastic feed. Like I said, I have the medium nib, but you can also choose fine. And just like the Pilot Metropolitan, it does come with uh, a bladder converter. Um, Technically, this is not considered a CON20 because the CON20 has um, metal all the way around it uh, and just like kind of like a push bar, um, but essentially it's the same thing. Uh, yeah, and don't know if you want to see in here, but there you go. It's all plastic on the inside. Could you eyedropper convert this? Uh, theoretically, it looks possible. And there's no metal, so I guess you could, but there might be a small, it's not advertised as eyedropper convertible, um, so there might be some small holes. I don't think these kind of indents here will lead to that, but it's possible. Uh, on the inside of the cap here, there's no inner seal as far as like anything that gets crazy, crazy sealed up, just a regular pen. Um, so it's pretty darn simple. There's not much to it. This is uh, Galen Leather's Everyday Book. Uh, it's Tome Away River Paper. There will be a review coming on this separately as well. So let's give this a shot, shall we? Um, sorry, I got scratched and uh, it looks gnarly. Life of a cat owner.
Okay, so again, medium steel nib. The ink is the original KWZ ink uh, honey, um, the kind that is scented. It's not on purpose scented, but <laughs> it, it definitely is. Um, very smooth nib. Um, I wouldn't say it's like a, it's a fire hose, but it's certainly, um, you know, wet enough for my liking. You can reverse right, uh, but it's, it's fairly scratchy and it does sort of dry out on the other side. Um, so you could get like a word if you wanted to. Um, fast writing. No skips that I can see. Uh, I haven't experienced any. Uh, if it does sit out for a little while without getting capped, then occasionally um, there will be a little bit of a hard start, but it's not even really that. It's like any pen if you just let it sit out for a while. I really like it. You're not gonna be able to get like a super ton amount of, this is not a skip by the way, this is just me lifting a pen. Uh, super ton amount of flex. It's a pretty stiff nib. Uh, but you can squeeze out a tiny bit if you choose to. If you've ever used a Pilot Metropolitan, anything like that, you're going to know what to expect. Um, I think it's a perfect starter pen. I think if you don't like the pet Pilot Metropolitan because it's a little too heavy, um, this is a really good choice. If you don't want metal, this is all plastic. Um, it does not solve the issue that some people have with Metros that the grip section is too narrow because it's pretty much the exact same. Um, but you know, it's, it's an option for people. I, I think this is actually an underrated pen. Uh, I like the performance of it. Um, it does, it's, it does what it does. There's nothing that blows me away about it, but there's nothing that ticks me off either. So I think it's a, it's a good uh, investment for not a throwaway pen, but one that you wouldn't mind if it did happen to get lost, stolen, broken, um, or you're just getting into the hobby. Um, so do I recommend it? Yeah, I do. Uh, I don't think it's necessary in everyone's collection, but I think it serves its purpose. And uh, check it out if you haven't yet already. Um, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you like the but if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you liked it but haven't yet done so already, like about seventy percent of the people who watch my videos, do hit that subscribe button. Uh, new videos come out every Monday and Friday, and the occasional Q and A on Tuesday. Guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.